What's going on you guys? This is New York Adventure 1994 here and today is Tuesday, May 28, 2024 and I know I told you guys this story back in 2020 when we were in this monster of a virus but since I'm trying to complete another Psycho series here and I'm doing this little small room series like Mr. Nugget said, I thought I'd tell you guys the story. I do a retelling of our cat being a psychopath. I, I remember telling you guys this story. This took place back in 2001 when I was an infant. And the cat's name is Cindy and, and it scratched me and my father when I was little. So without further ado, let's get started. So this takes place back when we were living in the New York City area at the time and our house was not that far from JFK. I remember showing you guys the picture of us. I remember showing you guys the picture of our old house on Google Maps years ago. Showing you the old house of where we used to live back in the New York City area. And that's where me and my brother was a baby when we were newborns. My brother Anthony. And sometime after I was born in 2001, we had this crazy, crazy cat named Cindy, who my mom used to call a Tasmanian devil. She was the true meaning of a psychopath. She was just aggressive, she was not friendly. Yeah, we adopted her. She was like that immediately. She was like aggressive and psycho immediately. That sometime after we got her, she like scratched my dad and my dad just shook it off. It was like nothing. He was like whatever. My dad didn't think it was much of a big deal when Cindy scratched my dad. It seemed like nothing to him. But it, it probably did hurt. I mean, there's no mystery that it didn't. There's no mystery that it did. Yeah, the funny thing is, is that the cat's name was Cindy, and Cindy is that bossy character from Jimmy Neutron, so that name kind of fits well for the cat. Because Cindy used to be so mean to Jimmy Neutron all the time. Like the whole love-hate relationship thing. And she would call him Nerdtron. Yeah, and we have these home videos, I don't know where they are, of this cat. This cat used to eat and make all these weird and funny noises like wow 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 wow. It was like so hilarious that we actually have home videos of them, of, of the cat eating like that. But I don't know what happened to the video camera. And I don't know what happened to the home video. It's like lost around this house somewhere. It's been long lost. And then the final straw hits. And Cindy scratches me. Cindy just went to the thing and she just started scratching the heck out of me. As an infant. I was scratched by this cat as a newborn baby. She really did a number on me. And my mom was at the point where she just put her foot down and she got so mad that she was ready to get rid of the cat. And she went to the place to go off on the person that gave her the cat and she told the woman that if you don't do anything about this cat, I will. She just scratched my infant. We weren't going to hurt the cat. We were never going to do that. We were just trying to get rid of the cat from out of our homes and put it somewhere else. Put it elsewhere or back to the place where it came from. Yeah, we didn't care what where we put the cat. It had to leave the house either way. It was either back to the place it came from or some other home out there. Because my mom was just done of having a cat in the house after two weeks. We had that cat for two weeks and it was causing all this trouble for us. It was a real psychopath. It really was. 
My mom was just done with the cat. She wanted to get rid of it for good. By either taking it back to where it came from or another home. Yeah, trust me, we would never hurt the cat. We just didn't want it in the house anymore. Because we didn't know what could have done next. That cat probably would have put me in the hospital as an infant. And we did not want anything to get worse, so... We had no choice but to say goodbye to the cat. Yeah, it's not really a concern where the cat is now. I hate to say it, it's been like 23 years this happened. The cat's probably dead by now, but... I'm not, say, I'm not trying to be too harsh on it, on what I'm saying about the cat. I mean, the cat is like 23 years old now. I mean, there's a good possibility that the cat's not around anymore. I mean, a lot of cats don't really live that long. There's a good spoiling chance of my passive old age. Or I probably got lucky and lived longer. But I don't know where the cat is now. It's not really a concern anymore. I'm not trying to say it's dead like a bad thing. I'm just saying that because some cats don't always live that long to like 20. So yeah, our cat was a psychopath. A true meaning of a psychopath. A real psycho and a Tasmanian devil. And aggressive. And I forgot about the story like for nine years and then my dad took out an album when I was in fourth grade and me and him sat through and looked through the whole album and we saw the cat in that album and he told me that it scratched me as a baby. And then I started remembering the story just like that for the next few years. To like now. And I, and I remember it now like it was yesterday. It scratched my dad. It was acting psychotic in the house. And it scratched me as an infant. It's really scary seeing an infant get scratched by a cat like that. That is, no, that is not funny at all. It's not funny. No one deserves to be scratched by a cat. Especially an infant. That's just a newborn. It's really terrifying seeing a newborn get scratched like that. That my mom couldn't bear having the cat around in the house any longer. That the cat had to leave. And we had to give it a new home. This is why we have to be careful on how we train our pets. Because they can be aggressive just like that. But we didn't train the cat to be aggressive. It was like already aggressive once we got Cindy. When we were living in Queens. Yeah we don't know where the cat came from. We don't know if it, it's been abused or. Got trained poorly before we got her. Yeah. Not all pets are friendly. They were probably either abused or trained poorly. So you gotta be careful which pets you adopt. And you need to learn about the background of it and everything. Yeah, but we would never do anything horrible like that. We would never. The cat was already like this when we got her. And shortly after we got her, she scratched my dad. I already told you guys that. But my dad shook it off like it was no big deal. But when it turned towards me, it, the game was over. She was out. And once again, we have these home videos of this cat making these funny noises when she was eating. And I just gotta say, we don't need to worry about the cat anymore. Cindy's been long gone for 23 years. And she's not really our problem anymore. I'm not really concerned of where she is now because it's been years now. And I don't know where the cat is now. I hate to say it, it's probably dead because it's been 23 years and some cats just don't live that long. And I'm not saying that as an insult. I would never wish anything bad on an animal. I would never do that. I'm just, the reason why I would assume it's dead now is because it, some cats just don't live that long. Some cats always don't make it to 20. 
not every cat reaches 20. Some do, some don't. I hate to say it, but that's normality right there on a cat's lifespan. Some with the 20, some don't. Yeah, th there's a good possibility the cat's probably not around anymore because it's been that long now. We probably got lucky and lived past 20. But yet again, this cat is not really our concern anymore. She did enough damage in two weeks that we had to say goodbye. So I guess that's it. Bye.